Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. The Ganae creation era was a time where everything was in balance within nature. All the animals, all the creatures of the bush spoke the same language. There were no wars, there were no fights, there was no hatred. The following story occurs in these mountainous hills of the southwest region of the Ghana country. Currently, this is known as the Taravalga National Park, which is located in Gippsland, Victoria, Australia. In these mountainous hills, you will find a lyrebird, Wurio, that when it wakes up in the morning, it sings to all the creatures and all the animals of the bush and listens to their words. You will also find a little frog called Tithalik that before the dry season, it fills itself up with water and buries itself deep into the mulch alongside a great quantity of small insects and other animals waiting for the rains to come. The way it was before.
más. Every morning, Wario would wake up and walk to the waterhole. Every morning, Wurio would wake up and walk to the waterhole. He would sing to all the animals and all the creatures of the bush and listen to their words. saw the little frog at the waterhole and sung to him. Tiddalik was amazed and asked Wurio, Can you teach me how to sing? Wurio agreed.
The following morning, Wario woke up and walked to the waterhole and sang to all the creatures of the bush and listened to their words.
spent many months practicing the language of music and soon had become an extraordinary vocalist. He also learned to throw his voice like a ventriloquist and to imitate the sounds of the other animals. So one morning he decided to trick Wuriel into making him believe that it was his brother singing at the waterhole. He waits for Wuriel and when he sees him, he starts singing as if he was his brother. This made Wuriel feel very happy, but he soon realized that it was not his brother. It was the little frog imitating his brother. So he said to himself, this little frog has learned to throw his voice like a ventriloquist and he's creating beautiful music. We must call all the totem people to a great gathering to celebrate his beautiful gift. So he cried out loud, Tidilik, sing with me. Let's call all the totem people and you will share your gift with all.
Thank you for joining me today. This was part one of the story about Wurio that teaches Tidalik how to sing. Please go to my website thomaslorenzo.com and sign up for the next show that I will be streaming in the following days. Thank you once again. And bye-bye from the Tarabalga National Park, Victoria, Australia. <laughs>